so here we can see we have a question which reads as a businessman has three alternatives open to him of which can be followed by any of the four possible events so the alternatives here are x y and z while the events possible are a b c and d the conditional payoffs for each action event combination are given below determine which alternative the businessman should choose if he adopts the maximum criterion now this is a pretty straightforward question if we have a look at this the alternatives are given payoffs are given all we need to do is select the minimum from each of the payoffs and then select the maximum from those payoffs that is it the question is pretty straightforward now let us see there is a little catch if you have been studying it in the conventional way the catch is that generally we are accustomed to having strategies and outcomes or at times we call it demand generally we are used to this kind of table where we have strategies and outcomes in this particular question they have flipped the it to give alternatives over here alternatives meaning our strategies our strategies are here while the events or outcomes are on the opposite side this is the only difference between the conventional questions that we generally solve and in this particular representation now there are two possibilities one is that instead of taking the decisions like this picking out the minimum values like this in this question we pick up the minimum values in this way but let us go the conventional way because if you are comfortable with the conventional representation we'll make use of conventional representation the conventional representation has it in this way alternatives x y z then we have events a b c and d now this is the conventional format of the table that we are accustomed to seeing that alternatives or my strategy should be on the horizontal axis while the outcomes or events or demands should be on the vertical axis in any case we'll transpose the matrix so we have x y and z a b c and d they have been flipped and our payoffs would be 8 minus 4 and 14 0 12 and 6 minus 10 18 and minus 2 14 sorry minus 10 18 and 0 6 minus 2 and 0 let us check if this is correct we have done a 8 0 minus 10 6 then there is a minus 4 12 18 and Minus two, then we have a fourteen six zero and eight. Now you need to take a maximum decision. So maximum is maximum from minimum. you need to pick maximum value from minimum values minimum value in this case for alternative x what is the minimum that you could get minimum minus 10 for alternative y what is the minimum that you could hit minus 4 for alternative z minimum that you could face is a zero these are the minimum values and from these minimum values you need to pick maximum value what is the maximum from these it 
it is a 0. So, what is the strategy according to maximum maximum criteria my uh, solution or my answer would be strategy according to maximum criterion is for 0 you should pick a strategy of z strategy according to maximum criterion this is the maximum value and you will get this maximum value if you pick the strategy of z strategy according to maximum criterion is z so this is it for the question that we have been given where we need to find out maximum value now <clears throat> what we can do is we can expand this question to learn the remaining four decision making criterion also so when we have a question let us change the question a little bit and let us make it find the optimal strategy using all five decision making criteria. Now, what are our all five decision making criteria? We have a maximum criteria, we have a maximax criteria, we have a Laplace, then we have a Hurwitz. And finally, we have a regret criterion which is actually a minimax regret criterion. So, what I will try and do is I will find out strategies according to all these five decision making criterion. Now, maximum we have already done. What is our next criterion? It is maximax criterion and for Hurwitz we will be making use of alpha is 0 0.7, we will use it when we get there, maximum criterion, maximum from minimums, these were minimum values, I picked maximum, my strategy was z. Now, let us talk of maximax criterion, maximax, maximax is maxi max, it is maximum value from maximum values you pick out all maximum values what is the maximum that you can get in case of x what is the maximum you can get is 8 what is the maximum you can get in case of y it is 18 what is the maximum you can get in case of z it is 14. So, I have all my maximum values and from these maximum values I need to pick up a further maximum value which is 18. So, how will you get this maximax if you pick the strategy of y? How will you get maximum if you pick the strategy of z? How do you get maximax if you pick the strategy of y? So, decision a strategy according to maximax criteria suggested is strategy y. Then we have Laplace and Hurwitz. First let us approach Hurwitz. What is Hurwitz? Hurwitz is a criterion that multiplies your maximum return to alpha which in this case is 0.7 and it multiplies the minimum return, return to 1 minus alpha as simple as that. In our case alpha is 0.7. So, I will multiply my maximum values to 0.7, 1 minus alpha becomes 0.3. So, I will multiply my minimum values to 0.3 and then I will take a sum of these two values to get my Hurwitz returns. What will those be? 8 multiplied by 0 0.7, 8 multiplied by 0 0.7, 5.6 plus minus 10 multiplied by 0 0.3, it is actually a plus but we are getting a minus so the total would be 2.6. Then in next case 18 multiplied by 0 0.7 giving me a 12.6, 12 
4 multiplied by 0 0.3 giving me a 1.2 making it a 11.4 then 14 multiplied by 0.7 giving me a 9.8 0 multiplied by 0 0.3 giving me a 0 making it a total of 9.8 minimum maximum and Hurwitz values now what is the best Hurwitz return best Hurwitz return is 14.4 the best Hurwitz return is 14.4. It is coming from a strategy called Y. So, best return according to Hurwitz is also Y. Now, do you remember what is Laplace's philosophy? Laplace's philosophy is you take the sum and div divide it by number of possible outcomes or in other words it is simply the average of all the returns for example for x what is the sum 8 and 6 14 it will be 4 sum is 4 8 plus 6 14 minus 10 4 divided by 4 because we have 4 outcomes is equal to 1 second case it would be 4 into 6 12 and 12 24 24 divided by 4 giving me a 6 in this case it would be 14 and 14 28 divided by 4 giving me a 7 so where do we get the best values according to Laplace through strategy Z these are the best values and last one is minimax regret now it is a regret decision so first we need to convert this payoff matrix into a regret matrix we will still be having alternatives x y C will be having events A, B, C and D. Now, if the demand is A, if the event outcome is A, in A, best would have been that you made a profit of 14 which would have come if you had taken a strategy of Z. Listen very carefully. In case of event A, the best return you could have got is 14, which would have been a result of strategy Z. Now, if you opt for strategy Z, you get 14. So, there is no loss bet between the best result and your obtained result. So, there is no actually regret. But if you take strategy Z, you end up with a profit of only rupees 8 now for a you could have made a profit of 14 but you have ended with a profit of only 8 so there is a loss of 6 rupees now you are experiencing a regret of 6 rupees and if you end up with a return of minus 4 then in fact your regret is 14 minus minus 4 making it 18. So, how are we calculating these regrets? We are calculating these regrets by subtracting all the returns from best return because this is the best I could have got. Anything that I am getting other than this is definitely less and I am checking how much less. If I am getting 8, it is 6 less. If I am getting minus 4, it is actually 14, 18 less from this and if I am getting a 14, it is best, it is not less. In case of B, the returns are, best return is 12 any other return would be below 12 how much is this 12 minus 0 making a 12 12 minus 12 is a 0 12 minus 6 is a 6 so this is falling short by 6 this is perfect there is no regret this has fallen down by the best result by a distance of 12 units what happens with C the best is 18 
So, everything will be subtracted from 18, 18 minus minus 10, 28, 18 minus 18 is a 0, 18 minus 0 is an 18. The last one best result is 8, 8 minus 6, 2, 8 minus minus 2 is 10, 8 minus 8 is 0. These are the best returns. 14, 12, 18 and 8. So, these are the places where we do not have any regrets. Any place else, there are some regrets. The regret decision is minimax. What do we mean by minimax? Mini max. Minimax is pick the minimum from maximum. Maximum for x is it is mini max. Find out all maximum values 28, 18, and 18. Pick up the minimum values from these. What are the two minimum values? These both are minimum. So you could pick either y or you could pick z. Your result will be same. You could go with y or z. The returns would be same. What are we trying to do is we are checking the maximum regrets. If I take x, the maximum worst that could go wrong with me is 28. In case of y, it would be 18, z it would be 18. Now, these are the worst possible scenarios. I am picking the minimum worst. So, this makes perfect sense. The strategies for 18 are y and z. So, you could pick either y or z, you will get same returns. So, we started with a question of maximum, but we have solved it for all five decision making criteria. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Here are some cards related to the video you just watched. Feel free to browse across them and do leave your comments and suggestions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.